Hi, this is Emma, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make the candy corn bracelet. This is the candy corn bracelet. You will take your first rubber band color. I will be using orange. Use two rubber bands instead of one. Take your first two rubber bands and place them going diagonally to the left side. Make sure you push down your rubber bands. It should look like that. Now take your next color, or your same color again, and make sure it's doubled and place them diagonally to the right. Push down your rubber bands, just like that. Now you're going to use your same color again. Take two rubber bands, place them going forward on the left side, just like that. Now take the same color again and place it going forward from the middle up, just like that. Now you will do the same thing on the right side. Just like that. Now take your next color. I will be using yellow. Take your first two rubber bands and place them going to the left, diagonally. Just like that. Now you will take the same color and place it going diagonally to the right. Just like that. Now you will use the same color again and place it going diagonally forward on the left side, or just straight. Then you will place your next two rubber bands going forward from the middle. Push down your rubber bands. Now you will take your next two rubber bands and place them going forward on the right side. Now take your next color. I will be using white and place it going diagonally to the left, just like that. Now you will take your same color again, I'll be using white again, and put it, push down your rubber bands. Then take your white and put it diagonally to the right, just like that. Push down all of your rubber bands. Now you're going to just lay two rubber bands, white rubber bands, and place them going forward on the white rubber bands just like that. This is what the first candy corn should look like. Now we are going to do the pattern again. So you will take your first two orange and place them going diagonally to the left and push down. Then you will take your next two orange, place them going diagonally to the right and then push down again. Then you will take your orange again and place it going forward and then going forward from the middle. Then you will take your orange again and place it going forward from the right side to look like that. Next you will take your yellow place it going diagonally to the left. Push down. Then you will take the same color and place it going diagonally to the right. Push down. Then take your yellow again and place one going forward. One from the middle going forward. And one from the right side going forward. Just like that. Now you will take your cream and place it going diagonally to the left side, push down, and then diagonally to the right side. Just like that. Then once again, you will take your next rubber band, two rubber bands, and place them going forward. Just like that. This is what it should look like when you're all done. Now you can turn your loom around. Now take one rubber band, make a figure eight, and place it back on top of itself. Just like that. And lay it right here. So now you're going to use your hook. Pull back the cap band and grab the bottom two rubber bands 
and bring them forward. Now you can reach in the middle and grab the top rubber band and bring it to wherever it belongs. Then you can reach in again and grab the top rubber band and bring it to where it belongs. Just like that. Make sure all the rubber bands are secure on the pegs. Push down the rubber bands. Reach into the middle and grab the yellow and bring it forward. Then you can reach in on the left side. Make sure you hold down the rubber band and grab the bottom two yellows and bring them forward. Just like that. Now you can do the same on the right side. Reach in and grab the bottom two yellows. Bring them forward. It should look like that. Now you will reach in the left peg and grab the yellow rubber bands. Once you get them out, bring them to the middle. Now you will reach in on the right side and grab only the yellow rubber bands and bring them to the middle, just like that. Now we're just going to do the orange. So you'll reach in the middle and grab the bottom two oranges. Make sure you don't grab any yellows and bring it forward. And you'll reach in on the left side and grab the two rubber bands and bring them forward. Then you will do it on the right side. Then you will reach in on the left side and grab the rubber band and bring it to the middle. Just like that. Then you will reach in on the right side and bring it to the middle. Just like that. Now you did your first candy corn. Now you will reach in to the middle and make sure you grab only the white bottom two rubber bands and bring them forward just like that. It should look like that. Now you are going to reach into the middle and grab the left rubber bands and bring them to the left. Then you will reach in again and grab the right rubber bands and bring them to the right. Push down. It should look like that. Then you will reach in and grab the yellow rubber bands and bring them forward. Then you will reach in again on the left side and make sure you go past all the white rubber bands and go to the bottom yellow rubber bands and bring them forward just like that. Now you'll reach in on the right side and get the two bottom yellow rubber bands and bring them forward. If any of your pieces come up, you can just fix them. Then it should look like this. Now you will reach in from the left side and grab the only only the two top yellow rubber bands. Once you get them, you will reach in and grab them and put them to the middle. Push down your rubber bands. Then you will go on the right side and grab the top two. And when you pull them out, bring them to the middle, just like what you did on the left side. Now you will reach in on the left side and grab the bottom two rubber bands and bring them upwards. It does not matter what order you put these rubber bands in up to because sometimes you can do the middle or the sides first. It doesn't really make a difference. Next, reach into the middle and grab only the bottom two orange rubber bands. Bring them forward. Just like that. Now you'll reach in again on the right side and grab the bottom two orange rubber bands and bring them forward just like that. Then you'll reach in on the left side and grab the bottom two rubber bands and bring them towards the middle. Then push down. Then reach in on the right side and grab the two rubber bands and bring them to the middle. Just like that. Now you'll reach in on the middle and grab only the two bottom white rubber bands. And you may bring them forward. Now you'll repeat the candy corn for the next two candy corns. You will repeat this process that you did here all the way down to the end. What it should look like when you're all done. Now take an orange rubber band and make sure you put it through the side that has the arrow. 
put your hook through all the rubber bands. This will be a little bit harder since we doubled the rubber bands. Put your rubber band on the hook. Don't let go of the bottom part and stick it through all the rubber bands. Then grab the other side and put it onto the hook. Then pull it up to the grip. Now you can pull off your bracelet. It's going to be hard to pull off your rubber band since they're so thick. This is what it should look like when they're all pulled off. Here's the orange, here's the yellow, and here's the white. Now we are going to make the extension, so take your next color. I will be using yellow. Place it on your hook. Move down your bracelet. Place it on your hook. Then turn your hook around and place it through. This might be hard to do the first one. And then pull it up. It should look like that. Now take your white rubber band, put it on the base of your hook, then you can turn your hook around once you get inside to make it a little bit easier. Once you get it through, you can do your next color. I will be using orange. Place it on your hook, then turn your hook around and stick it through the white. Pull it out. Then place it back in your hook. This will be making the single extension. Now you can take your next color, which will be yellow, and you can do it again. And you can do your white and follow this pattern until you get down to the end or to the desired length of your wrist. When you think it is long enough, you can take it off your hook. Now you can grab a C-clip and place it on the white rubber bands. Make sure it goes through all of them. And then, then you can place it onto the other white rubber bands on the side of your candy corn. Then attach it to the C-clip. Then your bracelet should look like this when it's all done. This is what it should look like when you're all done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Bye!